Hey streamers, have you ever wondered how to stop streaming and when? If you fit one or more of the following criteria, this video is for you. If you are boring, don't care about your audience, can't seem to retain viewers, don't actually like streaming, you're a failure, you got doxxed, got swatted, you're being stalked online, you cheat at games, develop a crippling addiction to gambling, you have allegations of criminal activity, your audience turns against you, you got sued over stream content, you abuse a child on stream, you abuse an animal on stream, threaten to rape a minor, accidentally incite a riot at a public event, film people in the bathroom at TwitchCon, kill people to go viral, have failing health, death, or worst of all, send I'm going live right now notifications to other streamers' chats. One of the most important things you can do when approaching this situation is confiding in a therapist provided to you by a company that got fined millions for violating basic HIPAA standards. That's right, I'm talking about BetterHelp. Hey, how much did they get paid for the data anyway? Did they make more off selling the data than they were fined? Did the FTC ruling actually stop them from doing it? Or are they just being sneakier? Okay, <laughs> taking my tinfoil hat off now, let's get to business. The absolute best first step to ending your streaming career is by convincing your audience that nothing is wrong. We don't want them depressed too early into all of this. Your audience is your biggest asset and you never know how you can extract money from them until it happens. Next, you need to make a video on YouTube stating that you've been canceled over allegations that you've intentionally planted by lying to a rival. Your rival will do the work of spreading the information on you, so you have successfully offloaded a huge amount of work. These allegations could be real or true or fake. It doesn't matter because you'll deny them either way. The more inflammatory the allegations, the better. You want everyone to know, for example, that there's mold in your room and cockroaches crawling everywhere you look. I'm basically going AFK in real life. After your rival has successfully spread the truth about you, you need to drop your video so that you can mobilize your fan base to attack anyone who criticizes you. Now that you've stirred the pot, you need to go live to calm down your community and play defense about the allegations. Deny, deflect, diffuse. Don't allow them to start ganging up on you. If anyone says anything hurtful, end stream and make a lot of posts about how you don't understand why everyone's being so mean to you. Time for the final step. All you need to do now is pick the smallest social media account you've grown and make a quiet announcement saying you'll just be taking a break. You're in the home stretch here, but remember, if you've done this successfully, you should be able to extract money from your audience for a short while after you've made your break. Okay, that's it for this video. If you have any further questions, please direct them to the comments. I will definitely answer anything anyone asks on any subject. Good night.